I'm standing beside the most advanced racing machine the sport has ever known. It's the Honda engine Camel Lotus 99. And one of the reasons it deserves that description because it's the only car racing today with a hydraulically actuated, computer-controlled, active suspension system as opposed to a passive suspension system. The heart of the system is this digital computer located underneath the driver's seat. If the computer is the brain of the system, then the eyes, ears, and the sense of touch are sensors, 18 of them located at strategic suspension points, and a pair of pitot tubes on the nose that measure air coming in. A pitot tube is found on an airplane and tells the pilot how fast his plane is going through the air. At all four corners of the car, and we're here at the left rear now, is a hydraulic actuating strut with a control unit on top. After the computer has received all the information from the 18 sensors and the two pitot tubes, it tells each corner of the car whether it should be higher or lower. Hydraulic pressure is provided by this pump on the exhaust cam of the left-hand engine bank. Now, what does it all mean? Well, aerodynamics, as evidenced by the wings on the car, is a very important part of racing today. And for a car to be aerodynamically perfect, the ride height must be constant. So the active suspension system maintains a standard ride height. The car is going very fast down a straightaway. Air rushing over the winds presses it too close to the ground. In slow corners, it's too far off the ground. The active suspension system corrects all that. Here's a very interesting demonstration provided in the courtesy of one of the Lotus team members who's blowing into the pitot tube to simulate the car going faster through the air. You can see what happens to the suspension as he does that. The computer monitors 87 parameters. In fact, on one lap of the Detroit Grand Prix course, two and a half miles, the computer makes 100 million calculations. Will we see it on our pleasure cars in this country? They tell me to look for the 1990 Corvette. 